more masculine. And let's see what that says on there. I'm not sure what that, that signature is. This is a well neck. Oh, it says seven tiki. That's what it says. Seven tiki. Can I get it to show that? Seven tiki. That's a nice bracelet. One of the boys would like that. Not that a girl couldn't wear it, but I mean, it's one, one that I think boys would appreciate. Here's another 925 piece. I think she said she put the 925 pieces in plastic. Isn't that pretty? And it's two-tone, too. I like that. Looks like a rose gold versus a gold. Rose gold and silver. Very pretty. I like that. I like dainty pendants. I mean, I like the big, I go from the big bowl to the dainty. There's like no metal. So, I don't know what that's all about, but here's that other earring. I know it was in there somewhere. Tell you, it's a lot nicer opening up one of their jars or bags than it is Goodwill because you're not getting so much of the craft stuff and the junky stuff and the kitty stuff, unless you want kitty stuff. I like kitty stuff because I have kitties, but um, that's a nice scarf clip. You usually, your hands are filthy by the time you get done in any Goodwill haul. And I end up having to wash all the jewelry. It takes a lot of time. This is a pretty chain with silver and white. Very pretty. Nice clasp. It's got something written on there. Let's see if we can read it. My camera's not cooperating today. That says Korea, so that's old. That's in good shape. That's enameled. It's got some little places on it. But it's still uh, in good shape, the metal part. Oh, here's a pretty little copper pendant. Look at that. It's enameled on that side. Very pretty. Not marked. Here's a little key ring. That you can put a photo in. This is pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Love the color of the pearls. That's a taupey brown and then your gray and your cream. Very pretty. Beautiful. Very good shape too. Oh, it had a tag on it too. Let me pull that back off. I almost missed that. Well, got to get to where you guys can read it. It says Roman. R-M-N. Yep. It's a nice bracelet. You know, I'm going to stick that in this because I hate for pearls to get scratched up and stuff. I'm putting that back in that.
the next one. It is a little stretchy ring, huge flower. I like the cut of that rhinestone there, that checkerboard like. There you go, guys. Make it a statement. Wow. That's huge. I would probably use this on one of my picture, picture things versus wearing it as a ring. My little frame picture designs. Oh, a little mushroom. I love mushrooms. I love to eat mushrooms. My husband will fix me mushrooms and olive oil and garlic. There's a lobster claw and extender and it's on a velvety cord. But yeah, I love to eat mushrooms. He thinks they're awful, but no, he fixes them for me and I appreciate it. Or if we get pizza, he picks them out for me. Anytime he puts them in a dish, he'll fix his dish and then pick out the mushrooms and give them to me. It's a cute little bracelet. I mean bracelet, necklace. It's collar-like, but it's got links instead. That would fit really nice. It's a lucky necklace. The lobster claw class. It's got the little charming bead. Look at that's really pretty on the neck. I like that. Very pretty. The next one is this little stretchy bracelet with these freeform links. I like that. I like freeform. Instead of just plain circle. Looks more organic to me. More artsy. More natural. Just trying to fix the, pen, the, the necklace here, guys, before I show it to you. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. It's broken. The lobster claw. But I would still use these, probably in a journal. I like feathers or leaves, whichever one you want to call them. Chain's pretty on this. I would use even the chain. So it's a craft piece, but it's an, a good craft piece. The next one is on a, now you've got these running around up here. And what they serve to do is keep the necklace spread out like it should be. Bring this one around. Trying to get it straightened out here, guys. This cord is very stiff. Not very fond of the cord. It's a good design, and you got your bars there to try to keep it in line. I'm just not real fond of the stiff cord. Here's the back of the pendant. This is a nice pendant on there. <clears throat> Put these together. All right. The next one is this one. These got these have textured rings. They're all textured except a few. They have textured and then um, just solid, smooth, textured and smooth. There's your lobster claw class with the extender. Here's 
little bracelet. Very pretty little pearls on there. Or either that's metal. That feels more like metal. Gray metal. Looks like pearls. It's not magnetic. Might better test those. Everything well there. Oh, that's pretty. I've seen these, but I've never seen these with the pearls. Isn't that pretty how that's made? It's not magnetic. Now, this is up here. But the links itself is not. Here's another double necklace. A little rhinestone piece on the end. Very dainty, very pretty. Well made, in great shape. quartz. Very light colored rose quartz, but still. They have a hook for a clasp, like that. And they're knotted in between. I think that's very pretty rose quartz, guys. And they're so cold. I love the coolness of real stones. This feels so good around the neck. And the next one is a little stretchy. It's a meshy like chain. It's in great shape. Just rolls on the wrist as they're easy to put on. Here's a little memory wire with some charms on it. Got a little key here, and you got little pearl chips, mother of pearl chips, and silver tone stones. Some of them are decorated. You got the pearls in little cages. Very cute. Very cute memory wire. And you got a little key or charm. know why this isn't focusing better. Let me do this down so it's not seeing all that other stuff. Move that over. And now, yes, it's focusing much better. There's a good mix in this um, jewelry jar. A little bit of everything. You did a good job on that, Patsy. I want to do some jewelry jars, but I haven't. I've done some craft lots on Etsy, but they're strictly craft lots. I mean, there's like pieces of chain, and if you've done a lot of cr uh, crafts, you know why I would save that kind of stuff. Um, but it's strictly, like I said, a craft lot for people to make journals or shadow boxes. Or There were pretty beads in a lot of them, too. Glass beads, too. A little alligator and the blue and gold. It's cute. Good shape.
Here's another little necklace. You've got um, gold, and these look Aurora Borealis here in the middle. These two. And then you got some more gold stones, a lot of enameling. Pretty little moonstone looking pearls here. Pearls. Um, marquee shape cut little stones. And there, it's linked here, so it lays nice. You've got an extender with a little bead on it. The lobster claw class is in good shape. Oh, I didn't explain to y'all this tablecloth. You see paint on here? We were painting, uh, the grandchildren and I were painting yesterday. Well, just one grandchild. And this is paint we got on the tablecloth. I bought this tablecloth just for that purpose. So we're excited to see what it's gonna look like after we've done a lot of painting. I might get them to put their little handprints on it. I thought it would be fun. Oh, this is pretty. Now, I don't know what the BB is. Or is that BP? Not sure, but this is beautiful. And these are glass. Nicely fasted, square pieces. Y'all, I can't, yeah, I'm not, yeah, you can see the fasting. That's a pretty bracelet. I have to find out who that maker's mark is. Here's another beautiful rhinestone piece, and it's an older piece, I think. Maybe not, because it's got lobster claw, but... Anyway, I was glad she put it in on the in the bag. I don't see any missing stones though. The earrings have prong set black and clear rhinestones. And then the necklace is beautiful. Oh, this would look so nice. Little black dress. Because it's not over the top. And it's just the right length. You do have adjusting in that. I guess I can move it over here. Move it closer, Robin. I'm trying to move it out so y'all can see it and it's going to the edge of the screen. Love these earrings too. I love black and silver. That's gorgeous. This was well worth the money I paid. I'm going to put that back in its bag, too. Oh, North is Compass. Compass pendant on a silver chain, lobster claw clasp with an extender, very nice, that's pretty. Now see how that grabbed that, that's why I said some things are coated in silver because they don't grab it as, as hard like this chain did. Now this part it is not grabbing at all. That's cute. Ooh. This reminds me of a charm bracelet I used to have. Had the hearts on it like that. The links were a little different. That's pretty. I don't know what these are supposed to be. They look like little clamshells. They're not, but real jingly. You got a hook for a clasp. There's no markings on it. It's very weighty. And it 
it's slightly magnetic. Yeah. Nice bracelet. See, it's a double layer here. Let's see if I can get it. No, it's not a double layer. My mistake. It's very long. Here's the lobster claw clasp. It's a long necklace. You could layer with other things if you wanted. You have your dark and your silver metal. Like your gun metal and your silver. It's in pretty good shape. Let's see if I can bring it forward and bring it down. You got bearing shapes and mixed metal. It's a nice necklace. is a little these feel very cold it's a green color see if we can get the color to show up yeah maybe if I do that yeah now you're seeing the green a little better put a little bit of light on the subject there it's got a spring ring clasp these look like um, silver bugle beads. Like I said, those are cold. So that's a stone. Now it's on a wire, so it, it may still be magnetic. But I think the beads are not, I think there might be silver. So I might test that. Test one of the beads and see what it does. Here's another little brace, uh, bracelet. This is cold, but I don't know if it's a stone or glass. See, it looks like glass. Glass piece. I don't see any markings on it. Not there, there. It could be, it's not, I mean, I thought I saw something on this side. Let me look, where's my loop? I promise y'all I came prepared, but things get moved around. Or there's so much stuff, I can't find it. Now I see it. I got rid of some of that tissue paper. I don't know if that's marking it or not. But anyway, I might test this. I not might, I am gonna test it. And see if that's silver. I don't know if um, Patsy did or not, so. Oh. 24 karat gold touch over surgical steel. Pretty little earrings. 
easy to wear. Pretty glass heart pendant, the black, little pink flower, and the white, black and white swirls. We've got a seed bead necklace with a barrel clasp with your red and white chips. Those are cold. You've got little seashells on here. Then you have the red and the black. It looks like hematite. These spacer beads. And then this red, red cold piece. I'm not sure what it is. If it's coral or something else. Dyed coral. I can't see any of the little things I'm looking for. It could be just dyed. I don't know. Here we go. Maybe this will tell the story right here. Yeah, that looks like a coral piece. Let me look at that with a loop. Yeah, that's coral. So these are shell and red coral chips. Now the red coral may be dyed. I think there's a way you can test that by using fingernail polish remover with the Q-tip and, you know, finding one you don't want it to be obvious and rub on a little bit and if the red comes off then it's dyed. Very cute. This right here. I'm not sure that that's just a glass stone or now it looks like coral too. Where's the inside? Cool necklace. <clears throat> oh, this is pretty. And I know this is paparazzi because I bought this is one of my first paparazzi pieces I ever bought. Isn't that cute? It's held up well, too. Love the colors. I don't think paparazzi is so bad. Not all their pieces are bad. A lot of it, I like a lot of their things. I haven't bought any lately, but that's a cute little stick pin. The reindeer. There's the back. I can't tell what that says. I'll loop it. Symbol. Ogden, Utah. Oh, symbol art, Ogden, Utah, China. So I guess designed in Ogden, Utah, and made in Utah, and made in China. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, this is a stone piece of stone necklace. My grandson and I went gem mining, and he got, he had the best time, and the guy took the time to explain all the stones, and he probably liked this. I like it. Now, what is it? I don't know, is it a venturine, or? I don't know. That's cute, though.
He's the one, Dawson's the one that did the jewelry jar opening with me in one of my videos. We went to the gem mines in Helen, Georgia. These are real, made out of one piece of solid something. I'm not sure what it is. This one too. That's pretty. Let's see. Fits on that hand, so they must be a size six. Oh no, they're bigger, because it fits on that hand too. Finger. Those are pretty. They're very cool. So I don't know what they're made of. Give y'all a closer look. I have no clue if they're just acrylic, but they're cool. This this one right here is especially cool. I'm wondering if it's bone or something. I have to look at it closer. A stretchy bracelet. I love these discs. The different designs. Wish, love, and dream. But most of all, love. Because love is always the answer. I love those who deserve it the least because that's when they need it the most. Cute little um, enamel, stretchy ring. Another little glass pendant. Reminds me of Starry Night. Mm, that's pretty. 